massive Zara haul for you guys. Ooh. It's so awkward. <coughs> oh god, I'm getting hot up in here. The caps, caps, what is wrong with me today? When I say this haul bangs, this haul bangs, I'm so excited. Hey, it's Snow, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hey, hi, welcome. So today I've got a massive Zara haul for you guys. I believe it's 250 pounds in total and I've got a mixture of small and extra small and a couple of things in medium here and there. I think it's a jobber and a top. And I've roughly got 15 or 16 items altogether. Also a mixture of new in and a couple sale items as can't pass on a deal. So just this massive order right here as my last Zara haul went down really, really well. It's been a couple months and everything's been selling out on Zara so quickly. So I thought about hop on and order a couple of new things for the new year. So yeah, with that being said, please make sure you like, comment, share and subscribe and let's get into the video. So I've got my scissors and let's just open. They came in two separate parcels. I think if this parcel is literally just one item. Oh, okay, so first up is this bando top. I got this in a small um, and it does not have a price on it. So I would actually just insert all the prices at the bottom of the screen like I usually do. Let's just open this parcel. Don't we just love a big Zara haul? And with this pop top, I tried to get the um, sleeve warmers or arm warmers or whatever they're called, but they didn't have it in this exact material. I was trying to go for the chintzy vibes. Oh, that was like my inspo for this. Um, so instead I found this um, over the shoulder crop top which I got in an extra small, too small. It looks a little bit small but after I brought this, Sophia actually put it on her Instagram as in the three piece set. Unfortunately I couldn't find the crop top in this colour but I'm pretty sure I brought it in blue. But I brought this one as an option to go with the bandeau top. And it's super 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 soft. It's actually so cute. It has little thumb holes which I didn't realise which gives a really cute sporty vibe I think. Not gonna lie, it was really really tight to put on and I think it's just because I don't have the skinniest of arms but I actually really really like it. I think they go well together considering they're not even the same material but I obviously I would prefer it if they were. And then I also brought another knit version. Also go with it just in case I didn't like it. Yeah this one I got in the sale I think actually and I got it for £14.99 and it was a medium because that was the only size they had left. This is really cute. I don't know which one I prefer more. I think for the other one more because it's more of a sports vibe. Even a lace bra and then high waisted tailored trousers. I think that would look really nice and some chunky jewelry. Beautiful. And even though I got a medium, I think it's the perfect size. I don't think a small would have been it, so I'm glad. This is the crop top I was on about. It matches um, arm sleeve warmers that, um, or arm warmers. I really don't know what they're called. I can't remember. It matches that piece if I got it in cream, but I got it in this beautiful like blue color and it's a knit material as well. I got this for £14.99 and I got this in a size small as it was the smallest they did. And it just looks like this. I think it's such a beautiful color. And this I'll be keeping. You can't wear a bra with it. So you might show a little bit of like nip and it's cold. <laughs> I think it's really sweet. I wish they did matching for shorts. That would be really, really cozy for just chilling at home. But yeah, I really I really, really, really like this. <coughs> you know when you try not to blink so hard when you sneeze because you're wearing lashes? Oh. Yeah, but as I was saying, I really like this. I'd definitely be keeping it. And it's just got a little bit of like an under like design. So you go under the boob, it's just like here. Really cute. And then next up, also in like on the blue tones, which is more of a like a grey colour. I got this in the sale for um, £9.99. And again, I got it in a small and it just looks like this. This is actually really cute. It's not as tight as I thought it would be or should be. It's quite like loose here, but it's really tight around your neck. Like if you have a fat neck, it would be a bit suffocating. I really, really like the colour. It gives me like lilac, blues and greys all at the same time, which I think is really cute. Also, it's not too cropped. So if you wore like tailored high-waisted trousers, you can easily wear this to work, which is perfect. And they have it in black, nude, white and another colour, I believe. And for getting in the sale, this is like a perfect bargain. Nothing special, but I think it's a great like layering piece. I completely, completely messed up on this. This is a medium and I got it in the sale for £11.99 and it was a squared long sleeve top. This is going to be way too big for me but for the purpose of the video I'll literally just try it on so you guys can see the style because I'm normally an extra small or small. As you can tell it's just gappy, it's a little frumpy and it doesn't really like sit right. So this will be going back but the good news is it's actually double layered at the front so we won't be showing anything if you didn't wear a bra. But sticking with like the loungewear kind of cute set I got these and these are in the sale for £9.99 I got them in a size small. They're like this khaki grey sort of 
of colour. They're in a stretchy Spanx material, but they look really thick, really tight, and hopefully these shape my butt nicely. But as we're in lockdown, we can't go anywhere, so these are gonna be perfect. Okay, this is like not winter appropriate or even spring appropriate in any way. But these are so soft, literally super, super soft. I really feel like I get sucked in right where the waistband is, like really tight. Which means it's perfect because like, the more you wear it, the more it loosens up anyway. It has a little bit of a shine to it. Yeah, you definitely need to wear this with seamless pants. Okay, I lied. They're really, really see-through, as you can see the label, but I'm only realizing that now. I feel like they don't do much for my butt. I feel like my butt just looks a little bit like a pancake if I stand to the side, <laughs> which isn't great. But you know what? They'll be perfect just like under a large jumper or even a blazer when you're dressing up. The shorts actually go down really far, like just above the knees. They're longer than I usually have them. I usually have them like... But the material they're giving me, they're giving me Skims vibes, but obviously these are so cheap, so obviously not Skims. I got, oh, I forgot I got this. Okay, okay. This is like the perfect basic. This is what every girl needs in their wardrobe. Plain white ribbed t-shirt. It has ruching detailing at the side, so you can actually adjust how high or how low you want it with ties, which I think is just cute. Add something a bit extra to your plain white tees. And obviously you can dress this up, you can dress this down. Okay, the more I'm wearing these shorts, the more I feel like I have a pancake buff. I don't really think Zara care about that because like, all their models are like this anyway. It looks a little bit see-through, but not horrific. This is a lovely top. Um, yeah, I'll definitely be keeping this one because I've only got one plain top. That's lies, I'll probably have several. Also, I used to be really, really against ribbed material, but obviously a lot of the stuff in this haul is ribbed. Um, and I actually don't mind it anymore. I think it was more of a, like, a casual vibe. Okay, I've just seen the next two pieces up together and I'm gutted. I literally thought I brought a matching set. I literally, for the life of me, I thought, but they are not the same color. They're like slightly off. This one's more of a cool dark brown and this one is definitely a rich brown with like a slight ready and burgundy undertone even. So that's a devastating, I can't wear them together. I'm gutted. I'm actually, it's so annoying because they're just like slightly off. But it is what it is. So actually in these joggers, these were £17.99 and I got them in a medium because I went to go purchase them in a small, but as I added it to the basket, it popped up and said, you need to size up for this item, which I've never seen before on Zara. But um, looking at them, I do think that was the better choice. I am tiny and these were not petite, but they are very, very cropped. I'm showing all the ankles thought they were going to have a tie on the inside but they don't unfortunately but that's okay they feel really cozy though i'm so glad i got a medium because i think they fit me perfectly right now if you get these size up because they run a little small but yeah the color is beautiful and then i got a crop top that was meant to match in a size small and was 17.99 and it's actually a cropped jumper but i don't actually think it's as cropped as you think i think it just like nips you in at the waist a little bit it's hooded and it's really comfy they'll be perfect for like working at home or literally if i have to pop into the office it's perfect i'm just gutted it doesn't match i can imagine this actually looking really cute with a pair of leather trousers and then just a cropped hoodie and then some trainers just like when you're running errands i think that'd be really cute and then sticking with the brown trend because you know i've been loving them this season i got this square neck plain in a size small for £7.99 it was in the sale it doesn't look as tight as I was hoping for but I love this colour just to dress up or dress down which is what I'm looking for I'm really looking for pieces that are really versatile at the moment with my wardrobe because I'm just working from home and then occasionally going to the office and but I also want to buy stuff that when lockdown ends I can go out in this item is double layered like all their body suits perfect staple again I wished it was smaller because I feel like it's just a bit loose and I want it to be tight and I wish it was a bodysuit but I think the shape is beautiful it just adds something different to my wardrobe that I don't already have um because I only have one square neck top and if I haven't mentioned it is a slinky like buttery soft material beautiful and it comes in so many other colors but it sells out really really quick hence why I couldn't get an extra small I wanted some fitted flared like leggings sort of style and I couldn't decide which ones I wanted so I ordered two they're a bit different but basically the same thing Oh, these have belt buttons on. Oh, okay. Well, these are a lot more tailored than I remember. Um, they're just split at the hand, which is really on trend at the moment, as you know. But obviously, I can tell right now they're going to be really long. I am not a six foot model. These are going to be long on me, and the only way I'm going to be able to wear them without them dragging on the floor is with heels. These have got a black button detailing zip here, and they've got belt loops if you wanted to add a belt. I got these in a size small for nineteen pounds ninety nine, and it fits around the waistline, but it is tight on my thighs. But they do look cute with the little. Hold on. Slip thing. 
I am tiny, really, really long, and then we go dragging on the floor. I think these are cute. And then the other option I brought, which is these the Ottoman plaid zip leggings that I saw. Oh, who's my saying? It was an influencer, and I can't remember her name, but I follow her. Why is that? I can picture her. Yasmin. Yasmin, there we go. I literally said I could have her wearing them here because I was like, oh, they look comfy, they look so cute. It's kind of what I'm looking for. Um, so the flared detail on the bottom, you can have as a zip or you can not have as a zip. <laughs> you can have them up, you can have them closed, whatever you want. And I got these in a size small for £15.99, which I thought was really cheap, actually. They look a bit small for me, I'm not gonna lie. Like, around the waist. I don't know if that's gonna fit me because there's no zip but they are really stretchy so maybe they'll just act like spanks and suck me in <laughs> okay these are the ones i saw yasmin wear and molly may had these aren't staying i can tell you that for damn sure also i'm not a huge fan of like these style zips i think they sometimes can come off a little tacky and i can feel like the elastic is like curling on the inside and split them yeah there's no way in a million years i can make these look good Okay, getting a small is perfect if you're a size six or eight. Okay, these last two items, I went for a little bit of a bougie sort of, like I'm not going anywhere and there's nowhere for me to go, but I was like, I still wanna look cute and have something to wear immediately as soon as lockdown ends. So, <laughs> I got this and I'm like, I know it sounds crazy and I buy a lot of stuff, but I swear where I have something like this, but I've gone through my clothes and I can't see it and I can't picture it clearly in my head. I just feel like I have it. Um, but anyway, this is a Hound's Truth black and white score. So it's just like a skirt at the front and then has the shorts at the back. This was £19.99 and I got it in an extra small because I had an extra small in their scores before and they fit perfectly on me. A little bit tighter than they used to because, you know, gained weight, but um, they still fit pretty well. But I'm really excited to style this. I think this looks so cute. Actually, this would look so cute with my new boots. Hold on, I'll show you. Can we just appreciate these beautiful boots? Like, quick story. I saw these and tried these on in Milan a year ago with Lois. And then I was like, you know what? I'm trying to cut down on my spending. I'm gonna be really good. I'm not gonna get them. And they were sold out in the UK and I've been thinking about them forever since. And then I got a notification saying they were in stock. So I literally bought them immediately and I couldn't be happier. I know it sounds so sad, but when you're in lockdown, getting a new pair of boots you've wanted for a year is literally a highlight of my week. But yeah, they're real suede and they're in this new color and I love them to bits. So yeah, definitely extra small was the way to go because this has kind of even more space than my old one. Yeah, I'm really excited to style these. Oh, it has pockets. That's handy. Again, it's like perfect for a night out. Can't flash anyone, but yeah, you look cute like you're wearing a skirt. And then last but not least is the bougie item of the haul. This was the most expensive as well at £49.99 and again I got it in an extra small um, because I wanted it to fit a bit. It's just this blazer dress actually acts more of a play suit because it's got shorts at the back and underneath so you're like obviously modest and covered but looks banging and will be perfect when the clubs open back up hopefully. I just I'm not even a clubbing sort of girl but for some reason I just really want the clubs to open up perfect for a night out in London want to bump and grind and drop it to the floor you are not flashing anyone this is bigger than an extra small item i don't know which haul i prefer my last Zara haul from two months ago or this one because i'm not gonna lie this one bangs i love every single piece something about the top doesn't sit right with me but this all oh, my snake prints trucker heels would look so cute i think we found a vibe oh. I'm excited now. I'm thinking of all the work stuff I can wear once lockdown is over and where I can wear it too. Anyway, this is just what it looks like. As I said, it's a score at the back. Also, just like my little bonsai tree. So cute, don't got it for me. But anyway, there's a very like businesswoman, CEO, like I'm in my office now sort of vibes. I like it. I feel like a boss fish. If I was the CEO of a company, this is something I'd wear when I had important meetings. I'm not, but this is something I'd wear. But that's all for this video. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. Comment below which items that you have, want to have, or just pieces that you absolutely loved. Because I just had so much fun filming this and I found so many pieces I absolutely love. But yeah, as usual, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and even comment below which videos you'd like to see in the future. Feel free to follow me on my socials, I'll link below and I'll link just here as well. But yeah, I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, it means the world, and I'll see you on the next one. Much love, bye.